Okay, in this video episode, I'm going to show you how to work with word problems and muscle up on matrix multiplication. Now, when it comes to word problems and matrices, it's a very good mix because word problems can often have copious amounts of information and words and data, and it's a very elegant way using matrices to make the answer to condense the concepts and the data in a very compact and condensed way that makes it efficient and elegant to work with. In this particular example, we're working with items from a stationery store. So I'm going to reveal it in a moment. How many items do we have? Well, we have six pens, we have two erasers, we have four glue sticks, and finally we have five pencils. We're going to take all of these items which have different groups and different prices, and we're going to work out the total cost. Now, it may sound like a very simple example, but when you're dealing with larger examples, for example, if you're ordering stock for a store or a warehouse, or if you're doing forecasts in the future, whether it be for weather or for a sales convention or for some sort of uh, organized uh, event, or whether you're comparing one store with another, a warehouse with another, accounts and balances and numbers and stockpiles or anything like that that requires huge and copious amounts of data, then recognize and realize that matrices are a very specific and brief and condensed way, an elegant way to put together all that data. It makes it less complex. So allow me to reveal in visual form this next example for you. Okay, here are those items represented up here in a visual format. As I said earlier, we have how many pens? We have six pens, we have two erasers, we have four glue sticks, and finally, as I said earlier, five pencils. Now each group have got a different cost. The cost of each pen is $1.60, the cost of each eraser is 80 cents, the cost of each glue stick is $1.35. And finally, each pencil, $1.10. Now, we've got to put this together with a quantity matrix versus a cost matrix. So we've got to kind of work with the columns and rows here. And remember, with each matrix, and you already recall this, it's rows by columns is the way we refer to matrices. So let's work with the first matrix. And the first matrix is going to be the what? the quantity matrix. How many items? Well, we've got six items of pens. We have six individual erasers, sorry, two erasers, four glue sticks, and five pencils. So that's the quantities of what we're after. So let's put together that matrix. So we have six, six pens. How many erasers? We have two erasers. We have how many? One, two, three, four glue sticks. Four glue sticks. And finally, one, two, three, four, five, five pencils. So that's our matrix here. There we go. That's our quantity. So let me just put a little Q there. That's our quantity matrix. How many rows? How many columns? Well, rows come before columns. As you can see, it's one row by one, two, three, four columns. So it's a one by four. So let me write that down. One by four matrix. That's the first one. That's our quantity. The next thing we want to work with is the cost. What's the cost? Well, we know each group has got a different cost. So let's work that out. So the cost here is going to be $1.60 for each pen, 80 cents each eraser, $1.35 each glue stick, and $1.10 each pencil. So how's this matrix going to look? Well, if we got one by four, what sort of a matrix do we need to put here to match this up? Remember, the one thing you must always focus on when you put these types of word problems together in matrices is this, that the first matrix number of columns, the columns in the first matrix must match the number of rows in the second matrix. Columns must match rows. So how many columns do we have here? we have four columns. So that means we're going to have four rows here. How many? Four rows. So it's going to be that way. So we want four rows. So let's go down four. Okay, let's put in the four rows. And it's going to match now. So we have the cost matrix. This is the cost one. So $1.60 for each pen. 80 cents 
for H a riser, a dollar thirty-five for each glue sticks, and finally for each pencil. So there we have the cost matrix. Let's check it again. It's a one by four, one row, four columns. This is one, two, three, four rows. Four rows by one column. So they match, they match perfectly. We can multiply these two guys and come up with a final answer, which will be what? What type of a matrix will it be? Well, let's have a look. If it's a four columns here and that matches the four rows here, they match. Let's look at the outside ones because they're going to tell us what the total cost is. So this guy here, the one and the one match, which means the answer will be a total cost of a one by one matrix. Simply one by one. That's all it's going to be. So now let's go ahead and multiply these guys out. Now you may recall when it comes to multiplying matrices, it's the first one times the top one, the second one times the second row, third column, third row, fourth column, fourth row. So they match together. So let's go ahead and multiply this out. I'll write it out in full under here and we'll get the total cost of all these items. So let's go ahead and do this. So first of all, six times $1.60. So that'll be six times $1.60. Six times $1.60, then two times 80 cents plus two times 80 cents plus four times a dollar 35 four times a dollar 35 that's third column third row four times 135 and finally we have five times a dollar 10 I'll just squeeze it down here plus five times a dollar ten. All we have to do is add all that up and that will give us our total cost. So six times a dollar sixty, that's going to be, that's uh, nine sixty. Two times eighty, that's going to be a dollar sixty. Four times one thirty-five, five dollar something, five forty, and five times a dollar ten, that's five fifty. All we have to do now is add up all of those, and we will have the total cost of all these stationary items. So the cost of six pens at a dollar sixty each, two erasers at eighty cents each, four glue sticks at a dollar thirty-five each, and six pens, five. Five pencils, sorry, five pencils at a dollar ten all together now gives us a total grand total of five forty five fifty. Twenty two dollars and ten cents, and that's our total cost. And that came from quantity matrix times cost matrix. There's our quantity, Q for quantity, and across here, that's our cost matrix along here. Thanks for watching.